Greetings and salutations, everybody. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. You're watching Raven Review. I'm your host, Raven, and today we're going to be talking about The Girl Who Kicked the Horden's Nest by Stan Larson. It is the third book in the Millennium Trilogy. Uh, this is the spoiler edition uh, where I pretty much talk about the entire plot of the book, and that's pretty much it. So, uh, let's get into the plot, and we'll talk more about the book here in a minute. Eins, zwei, drei. So, um, as far as a plot goes, uh, the plot itself basically starts off with Elizabeth, um, being rushed to the hospital and everybody doing all these things to basically make sure that she stays alive and this and that. You also find out that her father, which Alexander Zalandro, see, I can't pronounce that. I'm an American and I'm horrible with Swedish. I'm an American. I'll admit it. German I'm decent with. But Swedish, ugh, no. So we will call him Mr. Z. That's who Lisbon's um, father is going to be. Mr. Z. So. <laughs> uh, there's an organization that basically gave Mr. Z asylum. And Mikhail... Uh, is basically going to expose them. They're called Sapo, and it's S A P O, and they have a part called a section, and they don't want um, Bloomfest basically talking about what's going on. So they're um, they decide to basically try to get rid of Mikal, get rid of Lisbon, and get rid of Mister Z. It's basically this is is what the plot is so um it doesn't exactly work out very well for them uh we'll just say that because um Mikhail is working with higher officials in the government and makes a deal about exposing sapo for who they are like i said and um it doesn't end very well um unfortunately mr z uh, he's just kind of, he meets a demise, we'll just say, and Lisbon doesn't have to worry about him anymore. Meanwhile, in Sweden. But Erica, she moves on to some other magazine and stuff like that, and... basically outs her boss and stuff. Eventually some weird stalker from high school like pops up and Erica finds out about the hacker network and hires them to help her get rid of the stalker. So that's all kind of weird. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Lisbon is in the hospital and uh, Bloomfest's sister is helping her stay there in order where she can organize her thoughts and help with the case and stuff like that. Eventually, she does have her trial. They call upon a psychiatrist uh, from Elizabeth's past who actually got her committed. Uh, Peter Talabolian, I think is how you pronounce his name. I think. Anyways.
Mikkel's sister basically like totally like finds all these false inf just like I don't know how to describe it. She 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 devastates this guy and his evidence and why Lisbon is actually not crazy, but she's actually very sane. She's just antisocial, that kind of thing. So, and he has a event happen to him too, eventually. So now Elizabeth is free after the trial and stuff like that. Finds out that her father basically gave her and her sister Carmela basically half and half of all of everything that he owns. Lisbon looks into a warehouse that she thinks is really weird, runs into her half brother. There's a little skirmish there, and the book pretty much ends with Mikal and Lisbon basically becoming friends again because they were kind of fighting with one another. So, yeah, there you go. Um. As far as the plot of the book, that's done and so let's get into what I, my thoughts are um i'm not going to really talk about a rating because that's actually in another video if you'd like to see my actual rating for the book um feel free to check out the spoiler free video that's where i give the rating and i talk about the movie a little bit which i'll do that in this also um but i mostly want to talk about the book um let's talk First with Elizabeth Sander. Yes, I know I'm probably mispronouncing her name. So get over that. Um, everyone mispronounces my name too. So it's life. But in any case, um, I really like how they expand on Elizabeth's um, history about her dad, her sister, her brother. And how the story just kind of goes on a roller coaster, and you figure out what's going on little by little. And right when you think the book is about to end, it picks up with, you know, the half brother. It's just it's really crazy, and I really really did enjoy how how they did that character development with uh, Lisbon. Uh, as far as Mikal um, being the other main character. Uh, you find out a lot of different really neat things about Mikal and how the book takes him through the journey and stuff like that and his interaction with Lisbon and, and how they pretty much mend their uh, friendship. Because uh, in the second books, they're not <laughs> they're working together, but they're not really working with each other. And... You find about the sister, his sister, and stuff like that, and how how close how close that brother sister relationship really is, and it's it's really neat, and I really did enjoy it. Um, as far as the I forget her name, and I always forget her name, just because I don't like the fucking character. Um, going off into some other adventure in the middle of the book, I, I just thought it was fucking stupid. I, I know why it's there. I get why it's there. It's for character development and story development and stuff like that. But I just think it's really fucking stupid. Um, I don't really care for the character. I just... I really don't. It, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Um, but in any case, I, I understand. Like I said, I, I get why it's there. Uh, but overall, I, I think the book is amazingly done it it should have end ended with three but unfortunately there are two other books and i do cover those two other books if you'd like to see those videos um one of them i am redoing which is um basically spider's web uh i will redo that here in a little bit and you guys will get that uh but for right now it it the old review is up, but look forward to the new review because I'm going to break it up just like I, I broke up these two books. Uh, one's going to be spoiler free and the other one's going to be me talking like I am right now. So just just a cheap plug for the next video coming up as far as book reviews go. But in any case, um, 
yeah, the book is amazing and it's really good and it sucks that Stan Larson is gone. Um, I would have loved to seen, like I said before or many times before, uh, what he would have done with the two other books. Um, I know he partially wrote Spider's Web, uh, but I would have loved to actually known what he would have completely done with Spider's Web and, and the other book, which I'm not really going to talk about. Um, so yeah, <laughs> uh, as far as the movie goes, I know the Swedish movie is out. Um, I believe it's English dubbed. I said that in the last video, I think. Um, you can go ahead and pick up the English dubbed version of it. It's really well done. Uh, I know the actress Naomi something or another. She's in Prometheus, I believe. Um, it's like a prequel to Alien or something. Uh, I'm, I don't watch a lot of Alien movies, so. <laughs> but in any case, it's supposed to be really good, and she's supposed to be really good in it. Um, I know playing Lisbon, um, because they filmed all three movies, um, like back to back, it really took a toll on her and she started becoming very developed into becoming Lisbon. So yeah, she does an amazing job as the character and they, they pretty much stick to the primary core of the actual book, um, which I think is really cool and amazing and I love it. Uh, because, um, like I've said like a thousand times, uh, um, Stag Larson just, he's just a, a phenomenal writer. And this book is probably one of my favorite trilogies. I could, I can listen to this like at any point in any time during the day or at night or whenever, cause I just love how he writes. So, um, with that said, you guys should definitely check out this this book. It's really, really good. It's very well done. And if you like like murder mystery style type books with a little bit of monster stuff going on and like Nazi stuff and giant human monsters that can't feel pain, <laughs> then definitely this book is for you. And uh, there's hacking shit, and it's just, it's a wild, crazy ride, and it's absolutely amazing. So definitely check out um, the Millennium series, and then you are not going to be disappointed with the last book, which is uh, The Girl Who Kicked the Horn's Nest. So, yeah. With that all said, uh, we will talk to you all later. Uh, this is Raven Review. I'm your host, Raven. And like always, don't forget to give someone a hug. Make sure it's your day, make sure it's your life. And we will talk to you all later. Bye bye. Hello, friends. This is Miko. We have reached the end of this Raven Review. But before you go, please remember to press the subscribe button and notification bell. That way you know when Raven has posted a new video. Also please don't forget to like or dislike the video because it really does help out the channel. And last of all don't forget to be awesome tacular by sharing this video with your friends that way they can like it too. Thank you for watching Raven Review. I hope you have an awesome day.